everyone. So summer is here, which means the Milky Way is here and time-lapse season is upon us. So if you're like us and have been doing some time-lapse shots on your side uh, while your telescope is imaging, um, you go home and you're like, what do I do with all those files? How do I assemble them together to make one video? So we're going to show you um, the editing part on this video, uh, on this short tutorial using Lightroom and Final Cut Pro as an example. And um, we'll show you how to make a quick time-lapse. Uh, if you want some more details, go on our website and you will see a full written post with much more uh, details because we only have like 90 seconds right here. So, all right, let's do it. Step one, make sure none of your files are ruined. For example, images may get ruined from headlights by a passing car. After checking your images, you'll want to import them all to Lightroom. Step 2. Pick an image to work on, preferably one that is the most similar to all the others, and play with each slider until you are happy with the result. Step 3. Once you're happy, go to Edit, Select All, then go to Settings, Sync Settings, and Sync Everything. Step 4. Export all the images to a new folder and close Lightroom. We are done with it. Step 5. Once this is done, open any video editing software. We are using Final Cut Pro as an example. Import all your files to a new project, then drag them all to the timeline. Step 6. Make sure they are all selected, then change the duration for each image to one frame. Now, we want to make sure that it fits our frame correctly. For that, while everything is still selected, we right-click and select New Compound Clip. This creates one clip, which we can then resize. You can even add some effects to it or mess around with the colors, until you are satisfied. Step 7. When the software is done processing, play the clip to make sure it's seamless. If you wish, you can also add a nice music track by dragging an audio file under the time-lapse. Lastly, you'll just simply export it. So we hope this will help some people out and if you want to go to the next level you can also uh, use a tracker to track the sky and see the rotation of the earth in your time lapse. And if you haven't seen our review for the Omega Mini Track, be sure to check that out. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Clear skies!